Is this on right? Hello? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Well, this is home. This ranch stretches over 3,000 acres. 33% is strictly wildlife habitat with forested canopy and thick underbrush. Another third is native grass. I've personally identified and cataloged 99 different wildflowers. We have bald eagles roosting here, deer, monarch butterflies, millions of different types of songbirds, 400 head of cattle. This ranch is family run and we've been around here for a while. It's home to three generations of my family. There's a growing pressure on ranchers across the U.S. And sometimes it feels like there's a conversation holding our futures in the balance, but we're not even a part of it. There's a lot of noise and it's drowning out the stuff that's important. The stuff that keeps me up at night. The real stuff. The stuff about the earth and our place in it. How can we use our land better? more efficiently? How can we be better stewards? How can the land not only sustain itself, but thrive? Our country's land is our national heritage. In order to entrust it to future generations, we've got to take care of it first. We have to take care of it now. There are a lot of perceptions about ranchers, what they look like, what they care about, how they lean and think, but there are a lot of badass ranchers like me people who passionately hold the environment and the future at the foremost of their mind. People who love to combine cutting edge, proven science with the experience passed down from generations to do what we do. We've faced many challenges and through them have figured out how to make our ranches the most drought resistant, the most sustainable, and the most profitable. By looking to our feet for the answers. Soil is our most underappreciated asset. It's an essential natural resource, but with all this talk about climate change, it's hardly brought up. Soil is Earth's workhorse. There is more carbon in the soil than in the atmosphere and all plant life combined. We need to have serious discussions about how simple land management practices can transform how we fight climate change. Increasing average soil carbon levels by just 1% would reduce atmospheric CO2 by 2%. This is done through a process called soil carbon sequestration. It's a way of taking carbon from the atmosphere and tucking it into the soil. The process builds on topsoil and encourages the growth of deep-rooted plants. It ignites biodiversity just under the surface. Worm castings, fungus, increased glomalin. Unlike emissions from burned fossil fuels, carbon losses from soils are reversible. The soil carbon bank can be recreated. We can do this. Naturally, use of native grasses, cropping systems, and especially well-managed rotations of grazing cattle are just a few of the ways to foster this process. I grew up here, and I took this place for granted. I left, I went to the University of New Mexico for a master's in landscape architecture with a focus on sustainability. Through my studies, I looked hard at the urban areas of our country, the truncation of migratory patterns, loss of habitat, erosion of soils, and the contamination of our waterways. What I saw was a complete disconnect between us and the environment. We can do better. When I came back to our ranch, I didn't just see a piece of land. I realized what's been hidden here and it's taken hold of me. This land is an empire teeming with biodiversity, a refuge for wildlife, a last stand against an expanding suburban sprawl. One of the biggest threats to diversity preservation in the West and how our soil absorbs carbon is the subdividing of landscapes' vast open spaces. In the next 20 or so years, so much of our country's land is going to change hands. There's nothing stopping me from selling this land for a lot of money, but I won't. If this land was sold, it would turn into a rock quarry, fracked, and then subdivided into smaller parcels to be sold again and again and again. All of that nature and what's good would vanish. And that, nature, what's good, what's real, that's what ranching is about to me. 
and to so many of American ranchers like me. I'm going to protect this place for the next generation. Those who will take the tools and the knowledge needed to properly manage this land when I'm gone, and those elsewhere who will benefit from the food that was grown here. Right now, the average age of a rancher in the United States is over 60 years old. The future of agriculture in this country is uncertain. But there's a small group of young ranchers and farmers like me that want to fight back against climate change and feed the nation while we're at it. We want to do it right. We want to be cutting edge and open-minded, committed to progressing and working on real solutions to the challenges we face as a country, feeding a growing population, climate change. We've been doing our homework. Hell, we've been doing real work. We care about the earth and we understand the land. We've got a lot to say about how we can face these challenges together, but we have to be part of the conversation first. <laughs>